Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Allah Rahman here, and today with the last resistance level, that is the third resistance level, and the name is the average AC resistance level. Average AC resistance. All right, now. When do we find out this average AC resistance? <clears throat> the average AC resistance is found when we have a signal, an input signal, and it produces a large amount, a significant large amount of change in the output. So the resistance in that level of the output is known as the average AC resistance. So let me write it down that when the input signal is large enough to produce a broad swing this is how the book defines it in the characteristics so let me see uh, as indicated the resistance associated with this device So the resistance in when the input signal is large enough to produce a broad swing in the characteristics, the resistance in this region of the device is average AC resistance. Now how is that? So we come to it in a minute and let me write a proper definition. So the average AC resistance is the resistance. How to find it out? Okay. So the average AC resistance is the resistance. So I write it by capital R determined by a straight line drawn determined by a straight line drawn between the two intersections obtained between the two intersections intersections obtained by the maximum and minimum values by the maximum and minimum values of input voltage now if you have written this down so now we will understand it all right so let me draw the characteristic curve So this is the voltage across the diode, this is the current through the diode and say this is the characteristic curve of the diode. So how do we take it? So let me take some values alright. So the R average is again equal to the change in voltage to the change in current alright. R average is again equal to the value change in voltage divided by change in current. But how is this? So now we see it alright. So now how do we do it? So let's say, let's say and over here we need to find the characteristics between the R average between VD of 0 0.65 and 0 0.725 like this or something. Uh, yes. So, so the average AC resistance between these two points is unknown. So for this method, we, for this start of a question, to find the average resistance between a range of particular values of voltage, we, we do this method, all right? We find the average AC resistance. Whereas the AC resistance, we draw a tangent line and we took some values by ourselves. All right, so that is the main difference. So coming back to the question, 0.65 where is 0.65 what is the barrier potential so 0.65 and 0.725 so 
if this is 0 0.65 we have a corresponding value of current which is mentioned over here and it is 2 milliamperes and similarly for 0.725 the value of current is given is 17 milliamperes I believe yes it's 17 milliamperes so this ID is in the range of milliamperes now what do you do now you can find out the R average. So the, the average resistance in between these two points will be defined by 0 0.725 minus 0 0.65 and this is divided by the change of current which is 17 minus 2 and this is in milliampere. So what you get is 0 0.075 divided by 15 milliampere. 0 0.075 divided by 15 into 10 to the negative 3 so the R average comes out to be 5 5 yes 5 ohms yes so what do we have we got the average AC resistance between these two points which means on this whole curve in the green region in the green region the average resistance offered by the diode is 5 ohms the average value all right so what we mean to say is that this 5 ohms is the average of all the values lying in this green interval. Alright, if you take the value at 0.65, so the value would be different, 0.725 the value would be different, 0.7 the value would be different because it is an AC quantity. So different values at different resistances, at different voltages. So, so this average sums them all up. Alright. So let me read out some point if we have the if the input signal is sufficiently large to produce a broad swing the resistance associated with the device for this region is called the average resistance all right by definition the resistance is determined by a straight line drawn between the two intersections established by maximum and minimum values of input voltage all right so this is a point to point intersection let me write it down that this is a point to point values all right we've taken two points in between them we are doing the calculation so we have the figure which I draw over here we, we solve it over here so if the AC resistance RD was determined at ID is equal to 2 milliamperes over here so the resistance would be greater than uh, 5 ohm all right so let me write this down as well that the resistance RD if determined uh, at ID is equal to 0 point no sorry if determined at 2 milliamperes so it would be greater than 5 ohms and similarly if it was a resistance at that particular if it was calculated at that particular level that is the RD if calculated at the value of ID equaling 17 milliampere so this value now would be less than 5 ohms all right in between the AC resistance will make the transition from the high value of 2 milliampere to the lower value of 17 milliampere all right the fact that one resistance level can be used for such a wide range of the characteristics will provide quite useful impact in equivalent circuits. All right, so this has a useful application in the equivalent circuit, which I believe we have already, I think, uploaded or not uploaded. I have recorded that video, but I am a little confused when to upload the order. I am a little confused in the order of these videos. So maybe you have seen tired equivalent circuits before you are watching this video, or maybe we watch them after this. So the last point is. As with the DC and AC resistance levels, the lower the level of currents used to determine the average resistance, the higher is the resistance level. So this we know from the previous videos that the lower the values of current, the lower the values of current, the higher is the resistance that we know from here. And similarly, the higher the values of current, the lower is the resistance at that point. So that's all about the average AC resistance as well. Now if I summarize it out for you. So the first that was the DC resistance that was calculated at a Q point. All right. You, you had any point. So, so the curve you, you find the value of V at that point. You find the value of I at that point And you divide them to get a, the value of the resistance. All right. Any point you took that was all the same at each and every point because the DC values of V and I were not changing now if you go for the AC or the average resistance so you go through the Q point 
you find you you draw a tangent line at the q point and then you take the difference of the voltage is the difference of the current and you find the value of the resistance now over here in the average you don't have any q point all right you are taking two random points two points that are maxi defining the maximum value and a minimum value maximum and minimum values are defined and then you have what you again take the change of voltages change of current and they give you the resistance level this summary this has been summarized uh, in the book as well so you have a table over there that's all about the resistance levels see you in the next lecture with whatever topic i don't know that so till the next lecture take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye